Hey everyone, this is going to be a guide for downloading and setting up um, MIRC. And um, I'm going to have this up on my website as part of the guide, just in, just for anyone that's having trouble following the guide, if maybe a video will help you guys out, because it seems everyone I show the guide to just can't really seem to grasp it right. So anyways, so first you just go to op2rules.net, and um, here's the main site everyone knows. You go to the applications page, and um, you click on MIRC. And now I clearly state that you need WinRAR to uh, open MIRC. So let's just quickly download that now. You're going to want to save the, uh, the EXE. And then you're also going to need to download um, MIRC with no name script. And um, you can just open that. It's fine. You're going to need to extract it anyways. Now um, let's go back to our guide here. So the first thing is, oh, whoops, actually, um, you're going to need WinRAR first. So you double click on the WinRAR thing. And here you're uh, approached with the installer. So you just click on Next. Um, leave it at the default uh, installation place. It, it's all fine. Uh, you just keep hitting Next and then uh, hit Finish. And then you can delete the installer now. And uh, double click on this new icon that should just have appeared on your desktop. Click uh, Select All for um, what uh, file types you want it to associate itself with. And then just click OK and then you can close this now and the icon will go away so now uh, now you need to download MIRC so uh, just like before and you can just open it with WinRAR it, uh, it works just fine and then click OK and then now you're going to have uh, this window here now don't open MIRC uh, inside of the archive because it won't open with no name script what you need to do is just click and drag it on your desktop and what that's going to do is basically just extract it so that you can then um, you know open it fine so now you can move this folder wherever you want um, I'm just gonna leave mine on the desktop but uh, you can put yours in program files or whatever it, it you know whatever whatever's fine and then uh, you click on uh, mirc.exe now you're gonna get this now it's, it'll probably say 30 days for you but um what you do is you just click in, you, you click uh, that you have the, the registration uh, thingy, and you click the here. And then I have the, uh, the information to uh, register it on my website. So for the name, you're going to want op2rules.net. So just paste that right in. And for the code, it's this code right here. So you just paste that right in, hit OK, and um, it, it'll work. Uh, this code will only work with my package. If you download MIRC off the, uh, the website, it won't work. So you just hit OK and click on Continue. And now you'll get this little loading thing. And, um, and yeah, so now you're at the MIRC uh, window. So you click on Tools, Options. And uh, this will be your name for uh, what you're going to be displayed as on IRC. So for me, I put my name as op2 rules generally, so I'm just going to put op3 rules for sake of the tutorial. So you're just going to want to fill all these in with the same thing. You might just want to put your alternative to like something a little bit different, whatever. And then you go to the options tab here, click on perform, uh, go to RTSnet, that's the name of the network my channel's on, and um, you should already have this and just tick enable perform on connect basically this will make it so that you join my channel um, as soon as you connect to the network and then just click OK and then there's one more thing you need to do you go no name script or NN script uh, hit setup uh, favorites and networks add RTS net to your favorite networks click on it and then for your full name again you're just gonna wanna do the same thing as before just fill it in with um, your name that you want to be displayed as online and uh, tick the connect on startup box and then you hit OK and now you can close no name script and that's really it um, you can reopen it now mirc.exe uh, you may get a firewall exception as you can see I just got it right here um, I would unblock it you probably should it don't worry it's not gonna give you a virus or anything and um, and here here you are so here's my window. This is everybody online right now. We got uh, quite a few people right now. So um,
<laughs> and uh, there we are. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, I just have one rule: don't you know yell in my channel. And uh, you know you can disconnect now. And um, yeah, so if you want to just change, say the theme or something on the thing, you can also. There's a lot of things in here that are really cool, but you know you can go name no name script um, theme theme setup. And uh, you just click OK. And then there's a whole bunch of cool themes, you know, like uh, there's like a ton of them. I, I mean, you know, it, I'm sure you can find one that you like. Anyways, I'm not going to go too into detail with that. And then you can also do some cool things like um, you can do some commands with no name script, like slash PSYS all. And basically, what that's going to do is it's going to give a. Uh, a reading it might lag your computer a bit but it should give a reading of your uh, computer hardware there we go there's mine or you can do slash me um, hey everyone it'll do uh, it'll make a little bit different than uh, your normal text um, now although you should be fine like this uh, the only other thing you're gonna want to do is maybe register your nickname um, so what you can do for that is type slash message nickserve um, help and this will give you the uh, the help file for nickserve it looks kind of long but really it you know it's not uh, it's nothing too big and um, so basically you're gonna want to do register so slash message nickserve uh, help register and um, this will give you uh, the information you uh, you need to know for um, registering your name so you do slash um, message mixer register um, basically the password you want so I'm gonna say my password will be one two three and uh, your email so um, up to rules at oops max, let me maximize the window uh, gmail.com there you go. Uh, okay, no, it says my password's too short. All right, you know what? For my password, I'm gonna say it's K Lol Tut here one two three with an exclamation point. All right, there you go. And then now what you can do is go to your tools options, and on your perform uh, for RTS Net, remember to do that. Uh, add your identification because you're gonna need to identify every time you connect to IRC. So slash message nick serve um, identify um, and then you're gonna put the password you had before. So k lol tut here one two three exclamation point and then uh, I'm just gonna copy that now just to show that it uh, it will identify me and then uh, all right so you can put that in and then it'll say I'm already identified but. Um, Basically, it'll just make it easier so that now I can, um, you know, it's going to work. Anyways, uh, also what you can do is join new channels, like slash join um, RTSnet. And uh, this is a new channel now. There's quite a few people here. It's, um, you know, uh, I'd pretty much recommend not, you know, don't, don't act like a retard, you know, here. I mean, if you're acting like an idiot on my channel, I'm probably not going to ban you. I'll tolerate quite a bit of stuff, but... You know, I mean it on RTS net. Uh, sorry, on RTS net, it's kind of a little bit more serious. But um, anyway, so that's pretty much everything. Um, if you need any help, I mean, just you know, go over the guide. And uh, if you still can't get it, what you can alternatively do is just click on Web IRC up here, and uh, it'll load the little Java applet. Okay, this is really starting to screw up, but um, there we go. And uh, you can basically talk on IRC. With um, without downloading anything. So as you can see, actually it's kind of screwing up on my computer a bit right now. But you know, uh, here I'll just say on my laptop something. There, it's kind of weird because I'm recording it, but uh, you know. And then there you go. All right, so um, I hope that helped everybody out, and um, it should be a lot easier now to get more people connected on uh, IRC.